Hey guys, so this video is going to be about bookmarking daemon. And bookmarking daemon is a software that's used to create accounts and uh, bookmark your website links at thousands of um, social bookmarking sites. So to start off with, uh, here you can have projects. Um, projects are basically not really that important probably for most of you. I mean uh, the one that's called creating accounts is pretty much where I have all my information and right now I'll be working the default ones so um, so I can show you guys the, the process of creating accounts uh, to start with. If you need any help um, Bookmarking Demon has a lot of guides. They have video guides, ultimate guide and they're all accessible from within the software on this uh, le left tab here and then when you want to open it you just click open here so let's say ultimate guide you can just open it so that's really cool so let's start by um, making an email and some accounts so you have beginner and expert mode I start off with a beginner mode and I usually do set up email so you can choose between a free email account or a cPanel account um, I usually use cPanel accounts nowadays because you can make them within a few seconds within your host so I did just that a few um, minutes ago. So I did a little test email account and it fills out all the information. You just have to add the password you made it with. I personally uncheck and leave a copy of message messages on the server because I don't really care. Then you can test it. And when it's a sex uh when it's successful you just press OK. So then, um, once you had create accounts, that's when I recommend that you switch to expert mode. So you have more control because the way I've been using Bookmarking Demon, I don't use that much the initial list of bookmarks that come with it. I think it's about a hundred something. While, uh, I guess I'll show you guys how many I have right now. Currently, I'm at 1,900 uh, bookmarks. I was previously at 2,500 but I deleted a lot of the ones with um, errors so hopefully this list is a bit more um, healthy. I usually get about 600 to 1,100 bookmarks per run. Depends on a lot of factors. So to start off with, um, so right now I have everything selected but I'm not gonna create accounts on all of these for uh, this video's purpose. So I'll just select a few. So I'll select from here, all the way here. Then here you press check mark. So it check marks the websites you selected. And then you would do create accounts. But I quickly want to mention, so the way you add websites to Social Bookmarking Demon is basically you click here and you put the domain name here. Like check this and put social com and then bookmarking uh, so bookmarking demon will just uh, see what type of bookmarking site they are and if it can um, make it a do a social bookmarks for you if uh, you use my list which I'll be um, putting with this video you want to import it by here and going to import accounts and then here you'll be able to paste everything. Or actually it's probably easier to just do it from here and then you locate the file. Okay, so back to uh, creating accounts. So here you want to do create accounts, just select. Basically it does everything for you. It gives you some ultra spinned um, information. Then an email, you select your email. Press OK and there it goes. So I'll pause the video a few seconds. Um, actually probably a few minutes and let bookmarking demon create accounts at all of these websites okay so um, back and um, yeah, as it looks from this list there's a lot of warnings and um, unsuccessful um, accounts being made this happens a lot uh, what I usually do is I try again two or three times and I like to try with um, different email accounts that way even the ones that were successful you'll build up um, different bookmarking accounts but uh, for now we'll go to the next step 
So my web pages. So here you just want to do add or import web pages and you can paste a URL. So I'm just going to put our uh, blog's URL. Press OK. Then it's going to import it. It's basically going to get the title and description from the website. But you'll want to change that. So basically title. This is uh, important. So title is basically what you want to the anchor text that you want to rank your website for. So in this example, I'll just leave it at the link back, but I'll show you guys. Let's say I wanted to rank for the link back and making money online. So right now, with the comma, I would separate it between these two, or you can use a normal spin syntax that you probably are all familiar with, which is this. If you're not familiar with the spin syntax, well, you can just use commas between um, every keyword you want to use. Tags, you can make a couple of different ones. So I'll put the link back. Internet marketing. Making money online. SEO. And description. This is where you want a 30 to 50 word description, which explains the bookmark. So I'll make one real quick. I'll pause the video and unpause it when it's made. Okay, so I made a quick one. So then you can do preview and see what happens. So if you click this arrow thing, you can see um, with the spin syntax some previews of what will happen. I didn't put spin syntax in the description, but I usually do and I highly recommend you guys do it. I spin it at uh, word level usually. So this gives you an example. So this is good enough. So now what I'm going to do is first off show you guys a few important things in the preferences. So here I put it at 40. Um, I'm not going to explain all of these, what I do, but basically I put um, 40 treads and a high number of bookmarks per run because I don't really care. And I usually do, I want to generate only one bookmark per site. If you want specific information on what all of these settings do, then just uh, read the user guide. As far as res randomization go, I usually just select that. The web page I select, I want them to be bookmarked. So I don't really do any of this randomization. I do use it for tags, however. Um, so I do check these two. And I also do, I want to randomly pick one title. Connection's not really important. It's not really important. Okay, visual aid. This is important. Um, this is uh, basically to break CAPTCHAs so that you don't have to manually enter the CAPTCHA information. So I usually use the CAPTCHA.com because it's a bit less expensive than uh, BypassCAPTCHA.com. The CAPTCHA.com uh, yeah, CAPTCHA is usually $2 per 1,000 CAPTCHAs, but with Social Bookmarking Demon, they make a cut out of it, so it's going to end up being $4. So It'll be a bit expensive when you create the accounts, but once the accounts are created, there's only a few hundred websites that actually require a bookmark, um, require a CAPTCHA when you want to bookmark. So anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you guys have visual aid on before you do all of this. So with the CAPTCHA setup, that's when you actually want to be doing all the account creation for all of these websites and once the accounts are done there's a final step to do which is to set a category for them. Um, I'll scroll here. So right now I have a few that are chosen but your list is probably blank and as you can see here it requires categories. A lot of websites actually require that you have a category set up before you bookmark. So there's an easy way to do this with bookmarking demon to save a lot of time. So here, let's say you you know that you have websites around health. You probably want to put like something like health in front of everything else. Then there's a few that come by default, like news, general, others, offbeat. You could try miscellaneous, and you could try like spelling out miscellaneous too. Um, maybe something like blog, and then you would do go. So it's going to search all the websites, all the categories they that book um, bookmarking demon found. Then after you select all of them, 
you do check, check all, set category, and it's going to do it. <coughs> With your category set, now you can finally um, actually bookmark. So I still have the 64 sites selected from earlier that I created accounts with. So those are selected. I'll make sure the website I want to bookmark is selected. Then you go to bookmarking. Uh, this is a failed submission I did, so I'll just delete this. Select all of it. Delete from bookmark queue. And then you do add my web page. Uh, yeah, add my web pages to queue. So basically, it's gonna um, queue up the website you want to be bookmarked to all the websites you selected in the social bookmarking section. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes you have a lot of failed submission, uh, so eventually you might want to remove the websites that show as unhealthy. And um, But before you do so, try them a few times because often they don't work one day, but then they work the next day. So it can vary a lot.